What up, YouTube? It's your boy Mel. Back at it again. 84, El Camino, Brown Sugar, Conquista. Uh, got it fired up this weekend. My big bro Warren put up a, a small little video <clears throat> of the progress, but I just want to put up another video, uh, just kind of giving you a breakdown of what what needs to be done next. Um, the spark plug wires that are on here now, uh, those are just put on just to just to fire it up. So I got to uh, pick up some more wires. More than likely, it'll be the MSD ones that I had before. Um, I got a new carburetor. I had an Edelbrock on here, and I decided to try out this uh, this Summit carburetor. So we'll see how that one works out. But uh, got a new carb on it now. I got the Optima battery installed. Uh, Big Bro Skip hooked me up with these uh, these Memphis Audio terminals. Really digging those. Um, let's see here. I do still have to hook up my fuel fuel line back to the tank. I haven't hooked it up because I haven't drained the tank out and you know cleaned all that. So I don't want to hook up the fuel line until I get all that drained and cleaned. But um, as for engine updates, that's pretty much it. Uh, the rest of the stuff has already been mentioned in other videos, but I got all my sensors installed. I just have to wire those back up to the gauges. Um, the fans fans have already been hooked up, but um, I get better angle right here to see them. Fans are wired up. Um, power steering. I figured out what I need, so that'll be uh, that'll be hooked up soon. It's just a fitting that I have to get to go on back of the pump. In order to run that uh, steel braided line that my big bro Warren took me up with, I also want to give a big shout out to uh, bro Skip. He uh, he's been helping me with the build and giving me a lot of advice and, uh, and just steps on doing different things over the phone. And uh, it's been been a big help. So I appreciate uh, all the help he's been giving me. Um, Warren also brought his uh, his stock brakes for me to just to use temporarily until I get my big brake upgrade uh, going. Uh, I'll do a, a quick little uh, video on the brakes, but yeah, I just threw those on just to kind of get the car on the road. And uh, when I get all the other components, then I'll start putting the brakes together. As for the interior, I fat matted everything. I mean, the floor, uh, the smugglers area, I still gotta finish that side. Um, this back wall, everything has been uh, fat mad at the ceiling, the roof. It's all been done, so um, the fat mat laid down great and didn't have any issues with it. Um, before I laid it down, though, I did roll on some uh, Pour 15 on the floor just to keep any rust from you know coming if there's ever any moisture under the fat mat so that's done um, the center console got installed I, I bought the brackets for it I got that installed now floor shifter the uh, quicksilver floor shifter is installed that's ready to rock only thing I need for that is I need to drill one more hole in the floor to run the actual shifter cable down to the transmission but um, everything else is hooked up I'm not gonna really be concerned with the uh, the indicator having the light and everything there because I am going to uh, run the indicator off the Dakota digital setup right down in the corner where it says gear I don't know if you can if you can read that on the video but right down in the, in the corner down there it says gear that's where the uh, indicator would go so I do plan on running the indicator there um, I picked up a billet headlight switch or knob and then I also have the billet dimmer switch on that side. A um, little cheapo steering wheel I found on uh, eBay. And then uh, I got a few more items to pick up. I got to pick up a billet uh, tilt lever. I'm going to pick up a new turn signal switch. And then I'm also going to pick up a, uh, a hazard lever that goes on the other side of the column right there. It's a billet one from Billet Specialties. Um, Warren came down and also blessed me with this three pillar pod. So I went ahead and dyed it, same color brown as everything else. 
Um, the lower the lower one will probably be like a uh, ambient temp. This will probably be the amp temp, and this one will probably be the uh, temp of the uh, trans fluid. I don't know the order, but those are the three gauges that will be in these pots right here. Um, still got to get a, a bill of mirror for there. Feets are back here. Those are going to go get upholstered within the next month or so. I'll take these and drop them off. I already got the, uh, the material that I want to lay down on them. And as you see, I already dyed my uh, plastic pieces. So those are ready to rock. While I'm up here, you can see the, the brake stuff. So this is uh, Blazer Spindles that bro Warren hooked me up with. And then I started painting the calipers and stuff. But uh, I got some other things planned for that. So I'm going to kind of wait and get everything together before I start installing it. What else do we got? I got some door panels. Those will get dropped off when the seats get dropped off. And some other orange parts back here that that we're working on um i'm trying to think if there's anything else that we did i did put a new column in i want to give a big thanks to my bro jose out in new mexico he's uh do got all kind of parts man so if you guys ever need any parts you might want to hit him up because uh he had a lot of stuff that i needed and i was looking for so jose hooked it up with that and with the dash um all this black that you see in the center of the dash all the black all the black on the uh the console this black shifter plate the black on the radio the black on that dash piece right there and then the black right here all that's gonna get wood grain treated so it'll be uh like a tan wood grain that'll be uh it's not painted on but it, it's applied on just like the new cars would have so it'll be all wood grain on the dash it's a few other parts in the car have the same wood grain finish, so that's what we uh, we working on next with the interior, the seats, door panels. And then I'm gonna do my dash up. Then I can start installing my stereo stuff. So, but that's about it, man. Hasn't been much going on in, in the back end of the car, just interior and then up here. But uh, once I drop the tank, get it all flushed out and clean, I can throw some fuel in it and I can have the car set up to be idling. So, that's what's up. I'll keep you guys posted with any other updates. Please check out the rest of the crew. We got a big saint out in L.A. doing his thing with his Malibu. Um, real clean Malibu. Just got it painted, so he's putting that one together. It's another build you might want to check out. Um, of course, Warren got the uh, the SS and the uh, blue carpet treatment El Camino. That one's coming. Uh, Skip. I'm, I'm not even going to detail what he's doing, but if you go on the G-Body Forum website, you can check out his thread. Big Bro Corruption, working on the Malibu. We got a Demon Child out here in Arizona, he's working on the Malibu. We got, uh, let's see, we got Marcus out here in Arizona, 81 Monte Carlo, Dirty Red. That one's coming soon. We got a Young DZ up in the Bay. Um, he's working on a SS T-Top. And he also has a Cutlass that's real clean. He's been in the game for a minute. His homeboy Nick out in the Bay Area with a Cutlass as well. Doing big things with that one. Uh, let's see, who else am I missing? We got a young Vic out here in Arizona with a clean ass Granddaddy Regal. That one, uh, that one's on the road running, running and gunning, daily driver. Uh, not too many videos up on that one, but uh, we'll have to get some up. Uh, who else am I missing? I'm missing some more people. Um, we also got um, Christian out here. He's working on El Camino that hasn't had too much footage on YouTube, but we'll get some up there as well. But uh, yeah, man, we got we got some cars coming. There's no rush with, with the whips. We're just taking our time and, and trying to get it right, get it tight for the summer. But uh, definitely see us out there soon. Um, but yeah, man, that's uh, that's about it. Thank everybody for checking out my my build, and uh, like I said, I'll put some more updates up as as soon as uh as they come in.